much for giving us this opportunity to speak with you today. No, thank you. Um, I'd just like to say the film I thought was absolutely brilliant and um, I think it's really good. So. Thank you. Um, first question is, mm -hmm. what particular directors do you appreciate and what and who influenced you in um, your making of this film? Um, I don't actually have a particular director that I, you know, want to become. Uh, uh, it's more like I watch, uh, I get influenced by everything that comes into my eyes. And it's like a cow, you know, you, you eat and you digest and you kind of, something comes out from your mouth and that's already different shape. So I'm probably, I'll say like I'm quite, um, I get influenced by quite many things quite easily, but that's all mixed up inside and comes out. But probably, um, if I have to say like one particular director, then it, I just have to say it's my father because he's uh, my dad and I know him very well. And I, um, yeah, think being around him definitely it has to influence me. So yes. So you shot Kikir on actual f film as opposed to digital. Mm -hmm. Why did you choose this method? Um, what do you think it added aesthetically to the film? Um, you mean like I shot with the digital camera? I mean budget. <laughs> um, I'd love to uh, shoot with 35 mil, but it, uh, it costs a lot, and it's an independent film. And uh, if um, now digital its cameras are really good, so I used a Sony F900 mm -hmm. and transferred it onto 35 mil. And one thing I was really careful about was um, color correction. Um, in Japan it's very still, it, the color correction isn't very good. Um, you've got to know the engineer very well to understand each other to get the right color, right? Um, but in Japan it's not, uh, not many cameramen who understand or have a good communication with the engineer at the lab. But the one that I uh, worked with, the cameraman, he had a very good um, connection with the engineer at the lab. So that was quite important for me, um, yeah. But digital cameras, good now these days, so, yeah. Um, Kikira is based on the comic book vibes. Mm -hmm. um, what was it about this particular text that influenced you to make it into the film? Um, actually, um, oopsie, my phone's ringing. <laughs> <I'm just Sorry>. <laughs> 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 it's just kind of disordered, sorry. Um, uh, it started with uh, one producer. She had a project um, with a first director, female, and about a girl's love story. And she offered me. And when I read the comic, um, because it's not like something that's really long and uh, like historical comic, or, uh, it's, it's very simple. And I always wanted to um, make film original story. Um, but the reason I chose this was because all the dialogue that the, uh, the girls were saying was very realistic to me, and it's, I felt like the writer who understands, you know, how girls feel, and also because the character didn't have much background, uh, since it's a comic book, you know, you can just kind of trip, um, doesn't have to show everything. But uh, to make into film, you've got to put more information into it, and. I thought that's good because I would like to make it, you know, more original um, than, I, you know, just kind of, uh, there, there wouldn't be no point of me making it into film if it was exactly the same as comic. So, yeah, and uh, the point is, it's not about lesbian um, film or it's not the comic, it's, it's not about a lesbian love story. Um, what I really felt from, um, the comic was it's about identity and you know it doesn't matter if it's a boy or girl it's a person you've got you should be really concentrating on in front of you and I just felt that um, I you know felt the same way so yeah so I wanted to make it into film. Um, the film's central message to me seems to be just like what you said about the concept of love and the impact this has upon um, the sense of individuality and identity, mm -hmm. like you said. Um, first, for your first film, was this an important message for you? And um, do you consider Kikira to be a very personal film? Yeah, it's. Um, I think anything that I 
would be making in the future or um, like Kaifera, it's very personal and uh, every time I write script um, it has to come from my very personal point. Some, some stuff that I don't actually even want to think about, um, you've got to open it up, all the you know, bad memories, whatever. And, but that's, uh, I think, it's least responsibility that you should be taking when you make something or create something to show it to anybody.